Hello patrons! I'm coming to you Thursday night, December 14th, and I wanted to make a video. I wanted to make a couple videos. Um, I was inspired, first of all this is just for the people on Patreon, and I, I am so excited that you're there. I'm so excited that I get to share this with you. Um, when I write about this, I really do think about you all because, uh, believe it or not, it gives me such good uh, energy, good uh, momentum. Uh, sometimes kicks me in the butt <laughs> to get material uh, that I've had in my mind for so long or stuff that I'm putting on my in my music on my iPad uh, in front of me here uh, but I'm sitting at the piano and I uh, well I I'll t I'll t tell you a quick story I was I went to go see uh, a new musical on Broadway or at Lincoln Center uh, I guess I guess technically it's it's Broadway but it's Lincoln Center sort of sort of the same sort of different depending. Um, I saw a new musical called uh, The Gardens of Annuncia, and it was by Michael John Lacusa. Michael John Lacusa has written a ton of shows. Um, everywhere I look, there's new material I find of his, material I didn't know. And uh, I first met him when I was finishing up at Manhattan School of Music. Uh, we did his version of The Wild Party. There's Andrew Lippa's version, if you know it. That's the, that, that was the Broadway, I think, or the more, maybe the more popular one, because Michael John Lacusa is so... Um, nuanced and so uh, uh, he's like Adam Gettle, he's like Stephen Sondheim. Um, I, 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 I hesitate to judge him, I hesitate to put a judgment on him because I, I, I have such affection not to say anything less or more about that. But um, if you know him, his stuff is complicated, let's put it that way. Um, I find him to be so good. And uh, on top of all that, the reason I have such affection is I ran into him at the show. And at Lincoln Center, it was in preview, so they were still working on the show. Anyway. My instinct is that no, you know, he doesn't remember me because it's been many years. Uh, and I was with a friend who reminded me later that he did, in fact, remember me. I was just so nervous because it's, you know, he's done a ton of Broadway shows. And um, I was really, uh, it was just, it was all very sweet. It was very, you know, very impressive. The show is beautiful. It's about uh, Graciela Daniela's story growing up, this uh, very prominent director in the field in, in Broadway. And it was sort of her. Uh, growing up story. It was really beautiful. So anyway, so I got to see Michael John, uh, got to see him after, gave him a big hug. It was so sweet to see him. And it was sweet that, you know, he was very, um, you know, very affectionate towards me in terms of like what I've been doing. And on Facebook, I follow, we're friends on Facebook. Um, and he, uh, put a video out during COVID of a song from his show. And so, uh, it, Nothing. There's that. There's that voice uh, in my head or in any of our heads that nothing. Nothing's holding you back, right? Um, so when I realized that, I thought, well, I've got new material. I've been plugging away. I've been keeping my nose to the grindstone. Um, I've spent the last week or so working on some new recordings that I'm going to send out to Spotify. Uh, and if you can follow me on Spotify or any of the streaming platforms, I use Spotify. There's Pandora. There's Apple Music. There's all the platforms. Um, a lot of my music is available there, and um, I just posted some new like holiday sort of funny songs, sort of parody cabaret songs that I have a whole other repertoire of. Anyway, so uh, the video I'm about to show you is something that I'll share with more people, but I wanted to, to speak to you directly and to thank you all, and also um, because I have this cabaret tomorrow night, I'm working with Playthings Theater. They uh, did a concert like in September, October, I honestly can't remember. But I was there. I wrote a new song, Meant to Last, which uh, Mark William sang so beautifully. And uh, if you're interested, that I think was my last uh, posting on, on Patreon because uh, that, that just went live on, on the Spotify. It takes time once you post the song, all of the um, algorithm, whatever the, the machinations of the, the, the online digital music, they have to go through and vet and make sure that it's mine. I didn't steal it or whatever. So. It's mine. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to post, uh, this is a new song from uh, the show that I'm working on, The House by the Sea. And um, I try to do a quick pitch in the video coming up because I want to use that for, you know, lots of purposes and, and keep it very brief. But um, for better or worse, I get to be more involved with all of you because uh, you're on my Patreon page and this is for you. So I try to go, try to be more in depth and be more substance, uh, substantive. And um, so this, I really was excited about the song because I found this riff. And it's just this running bubble. It's just a very bubbly thing. Um, I was actually very inspired by uh, Adam Gettle uh, and, the, and the Light in the Piazza 
Um, and uh, the beauty is has that running eighth notes of its own. But that what what was fun to find, or maybe maybe infuriating to find as a writer is you hear that and go, God, it's really great. That's beautiful. How do I make something like that that's mine? That's not the same, but but inspired. And I think der der being derivative and inspiration are two sort of, I don't know if they run parallel, they collapse. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I want to be inspired. I don't want to copy. But <clears throat> I like to... It's, it's just got to... I, I said this to the director I'm working with, and he's like, it's a bop. And I'm like, a bop is, you know, I, I'm so old now. Uh, what's up? It, 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 it hits. It's... It, 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 slaps it smacks whatever he's very happy with it so i that's great to have that positive response um this is the scene in the opening of the show where julia is coming to this house and um there's all this momentum expectation and she can't find her friend whose house it is whose house it belongs to him instead she finds this other guy richard who's sort of a uptight business character who's not really on her level and so this <laughs> It's just a little bit of like, maybe like a, I don't know if it's like popcorn, not popcorn, but you kind of feel the, the, the flight and she's an artist and she's, she's talking about finding a place to belong and finding her tribe and all those things I think a lot of us go through. Uh, so hopefully it relates anyway. All right. Enough about that. Uh, check out the video coming up and uh, love to you all. Keep, uh, I, I love getting responses and questions and comments. Um, I'm going to continue uh, diversifying what I put out, um, but I always like to know what you like, what, what, what's clicking, because I think that's also, it's good to have, uh, you know, the responses and I just, I'll just keep throwing out what I, you know, what I think is interesting. So thanks a lot. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm Micah Young, and this is my new musical, The House by the Sea. This is the song in the opening scene where Julia finds herself making her annual pil pilgrimage to the house, expecting to find her friend, but instead finds Richard. She ruminates on what this place means to her and what she hopes to find. <laughs> I'm here.